What's up guys, it is I, once again, MrGamer990 and welcome to another part of our Let's Play series on Bioshock 2 and right now we're inside the Fontaine Futuristics after we refuse to kill that uh, dickhead, uh, the creeper, Stanley Poole and we're going to rescue all three little sisters and uh... This is it, Chief. End of the line. If I'm right, Eleanor's mama's using Adam to force all Rapture's minds and memories into the poor girl. Yeah. Lamb reckons it'll make that child a saint. Huh. Now, Eleanor's in a deep, dark place beneath Fontaine headquarters, and to keep you alive, we need to sneak in and find her. Yeah. I'm gonna love Sophia Lamb once we put our hands on her. Oh yeah, baby. But I just got done watching the first third of uh, NXT uh, TakeOver Chicago. NXT, if you don't know, is a professional wrestling uh, promotion which is run by uh, Triple H and of course the general manager William Regal. And it's a really amazing uh, promotion and uh, TakeOver Chicago is one of many pay-per-view events and I really love it so far guys. Two matches I've seen are Roderick Strong and uh, uh, Sanity's Eric Young, the leader, and it was so outstanding, especially the second match. This facility belongs to the city now, to Ryan Industries, at least until the rioting subsides. While it is unfortunate that such measures had to be taken, I must admit, it is gratifying to see this building dead. Fontaine is gone. Lamb is gone. I am alone at last. Alone with my city. Yeah. Too bad, poor Ryan, Mr. Ryan. But yeah, the match between uh, Pete Dunne, the Bruiser Wade, and the 20-year-old sensation Tyler Bate, that was absolutely outstanding, guys. And the Chicago crowd really did add to the match. I mean, I love Roderick Strong against Eric Young, but that match between uh, Tyler Bate and uh, Pete Dunne, which is a rematch from the UK tournament, the UK which took place, of course, in the United Kingdom for the UK championship it was outstanding guys and the crowd was really into it and when you have the crowd chanting things like UK and uh, fight forever and this is awesome you know that's a special match because really that kind of chant happens the fight forever chant it happened with Shinsuke Nakamura and uh, Sami Zayn and also with Finn Balor and Shinsuke Nakamura once again Nakamura is awesome I really love him it really is one of those chants that that you know you're in for something special and the crowd really did add something as opposed to most crowds within the uh, WWE events so I really do love the Chicago crowd and uh, what the fuck was that? October 9th, 1967 Hello <clears throat> My name is Gilbert Alexander and by the time you hear this I will be clinically insane <laughs> I am recording these diaries in advance as a last-ditch effort to assist anyone I might threaten in dealing with me. Uh. My next message awaits you beyond the security checkpoint. The bioscan will ensure that you're sane enough to need it. Yeah. So, uh, we have to be less insane the way you are clearly insane. Hmm. Gil Alexander. As I recall, he was involved in Big Daddy development from the beginning. Likely had something to do with you and Eleanor, son. Yeah, of course, a little girl. As much as I love the 20-year-old sensation that is Tyler Bates, I do love the bruiser way to Pete Dunne even more. I mean, his personality, the grit he brings inside the squared circle, and just his technical wrestling, everything about Pete Dunne reeks of heel, but at the same time, he reeks of a true champion, a UK champion, and I love this guy so much, and I can't wait to see more of the bruiser weight that is Pete Dunne. If you guys watch NXT TakeOver Chicago, as well as the UK special, which is now being are promoted on the uh, WWE Network, which I don't have, you're going to be amazed at how good Pete Dunne is, and he's currently the uh, UK champion, so that's good, and we're going to enter the uh, Fontaine Futuristic.
Futuristic, the second building of Fontaine Futuristic. I'm attracted to those kind of wrestlers who have this grit about them. Some wrestlers who can be flamboyant, but other wrestlers who can really show a uh, intense, uh, gritty side to their character. It's one of those reasons why I love professional wrestling. I mean, uh, some of my favorite professional wrestlers are Daniel Bryan, CM Punk, Chris Benoit, among many other great uh, technical wrestlers who are very intense and can get downright dirty inside the ring or outside when, when they get involved the crowd. Yeah. Who's that bitch? What the fuck? Squeeze, yeah, baby. What the fuck are you? That sneaky cunt. Nice one. Wow, I love this lady. Where is she? There she is. <laughs> yeah, sneaky, sneaky. Lemon squeezy. <laughs> I love that guy. Turning their own fireballs against them and shoot this bitch down like so. You know what I love about these motherfuckers? It's when they die miserably after they mess with the big daddy. The big daddy being us, Subject Delta. And hello, motherfuckers, you wanna die? Yeah, you're going to, like that. Alex the Great? Oh, hell, that has to be Gil Alexander. Same man who left that message we're following. He sounds mad as a March hare now. Oh, yeah. He does, doesn't he? I believe I'm going to love uh, Gil Alexander, whoever the fuck he is. Honestly, I forgot uh, who the hell Alexander is, and I guess we're going to find out more about him when we, you know, delve into Fontaine Futuristics. I should try to use the uh, ammos of our gun, any guns we have, less and less, because uh, we might need them against the Big Daddy, or most likely the uh, Big Sisters, even though I prefer to brawl with them. Brawling isn't just a manly thing, it's a thing which shows uh, how uh, determined two warriors are to win, to win, survive, and overcome great odds to achieve their dreams. That's what I look for in a real fight. I've been in fights before, some which can get so intense, but I prefer to watch battles between two individuals, whether in sports or in games or held in movies too. And we're going by the room. Okay. Wow. Clinical trial huh. subject. Cla -cla classification. Clinical. Protector. Designation. Delta. Status. Oh. Deceased. Yeah. Updating status. Please stand by. Protector and deceased. So apparently we died once. I have been exposed to a massive dose of substance, Adam. <laughs> By the time you hear this, I will have armed this facility's defenses on Mars. You, my friend, must therefore penetrate them and kill me. Please believe that if I could have done it myself... Ah, and on that cheery note, 
You may use the diary lying near this screen to bypass the Vogel print locks ahead and enter the security office. The password is Agnes Day. Oh my god. Look at the Sejon's lady. That's hilarious, man. Let's activate the uh, diary. Okay. Agnes Day. Uh, Agnes Day. That's the uh, passcode, I guess. Agnes Day. I'll say Agnes because please be it's password to enter. Yeah. Agnes. Agnes Day. No, 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 no. Not Agnes. It's Agnes. Ugly. European way to pronounce. And you guys know? I heard that. My likeness is company property, Delta, just like you are. Oh. Don't make me strip you for parts, Milado! Strip us? Yeah. Guys, we want to strip us, you know? I don't want to be stripped just yet. I don't mind being stripped by someone, especially if it's my hubby or wifey. But with this creeper, hell no. I guess we can go inside this door right here. Oh my god. You guys... Please see password to enter. I warned uh. you. Uh. <clears throat> Well, shit, you ass down. clearly. Automatic deactivation for 60 seconds. Oh, he's jamming the voice print lock with that awful crooning. See if you can find some way to sabotage his control of building security. So thanks, Sinclair, Mr. Sinclair. You're dawdling. The security office is well above your pay grade. If you're so keen to help, the restroom Need a good scrap. Here's a clerk or two to help you along. Oh, quite the welcoming committee. I can be quite crazy sometimes by how I am in my videos. That's the way I am in general and uh, diary. Prison, it seems, was a blessing. Ryan is now dead by his own son's hand. But far more interesting is the program of compulsion bred into his child, coded W Y K. It was some manner of verbal trigger phrase, which the boy would obey as an order, unerringly. In a way, this sad thing, this half man, had escaped the self. Highly intelligent, but devoid of so-called free will, with all its convenient blind spots. What yeah. he had been instructed to uphold the common good. What if he were a volunteer? Of course, a volunteer. I was gonna kill this big boy, right? Yeah, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Punch, punch, keep punching, baby. Oh, yeah. You'll be dead soon. So, a few moments. At the same time we killed him, he killed us. Wow. That big daddy has some resolve. Let's collect the uh, loot of this dude and we can uh, pick up our little princess. Hello, little princess. How are you? I'm always safe with daddy. Of course, honey. Oh, yeah. Now let's loot her beloved big daddy. And I think we have to go over here. Oh no 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 no! That was stupid guys, I know. And it's to be expected by Mr. Gamer990. The friggin' idiots. I'm going to uh, hack this uh, damn turret because it's the most logical thing to do. And uh, there we go! Uh, <laughs> fucking hell! Wow, that was some good reaction. I designed that device, Delta. What? You fumble at it like an amorous baboon! What? What are you talking about? Guys, what is he doing? I guess that was some meaningless threat. And what the hell? What's going on? Oh yeah, he's helping us. Oh, we can't waste any more time with these splicers. We have to collect the atom as soon as possible. And where's the atom? Oh, whoa, it's back here. See it, sweetie? Here's the atom. Of course, let's pick up them atoms. Do your work, honey. Yeah, we kill the damn bitch. I'll pick up our sweethearts over here. I'm telling the other girls that I have to Daddy. You do that, sweetie. We have to go back to collect some items and, of course, some supplies because we're gonna need them as we uh, extract the second atom from the little angel. I wish the uh, price could be, uh, you know, uh, cheaper. Uh, no. 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 
She's going to. And here we go. Good. And what the fuck was that sound? I have no clue. And she's done. The princess is Are done. Are we gonna be and, together uh, again, Daddy? Yeah. Of course, sweetie. And we have to kill the uh, damn uh, spider that shoots fireballs out. That guy. Catch this bitch. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you. And your ass. It's not easy to be a big daddy. When it comes to the adorable little sisters, our daughters. Uh, we do no anything. Friends, no country. Only slaves. Chained in his wake. Slaves. To his fellows, he asks, Of what use are you to be? Uh, Those who love him are his subjects. For the tyrant accepts only worship or fear. Someone really needs to shut that damn bitch's mouth, and it's gonna be us eventually. So let's, uh, you know, return. The uh, sweetie to uh, Madame Tenenbaum. Yeah. Go home, honey. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome. See ya. Let's buy some uh, new upgrades for you know our dear beloved uh, subject Delta, and there we go. And incinerate times three. That's awesome. Inferno. Walking inferno. Yep. Let's get it. And we're going to uh, first store it and add some uh, plasmid slots. Reduces prices in vending machines. Guys, I want this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Don't you dare touch that signal relay, Delta. Its value is ten times your own. Oh, what? What you gonna do exactly, bitch? Honestly, what you gonna do? Nothing. Yeah, like that. See? <laughs> do something, please. I beg thee. I'm very disappointed in you, Delta. <laughs> Destruction of a Fontaine asset is punishable by summary dismissal. Oh, Shall I so. simplify that for you? Yes, yes. Fired. Fired! Fired! Actually, no. You're fired, bitch. This is Eleanor Lamb speaking. It's been many years since my oh. last diary. Shit. Mother found a way to rehabilitate me psychologically. But she can't remove this. <sighs> thing inside my body. I look in the mirror and I see a freak. I remember very little. Just an artificial sense of peace and a compulsive hunger for Adam. Oh. Dr. Alexander is trying to help me adjust. He's responsible for part of my condition, but he wants to make amends. Yeah. I'm sure he does. And uh, what the hell is going on? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh man! I did not expect that to happen. Oh no, I did not. And we're going back to kick their asses. Where exactly is that room? Right here. Yep, this should be it. Thanks for the welcome. Right now, thank you very much. And where's the other dude? The dude with the uh, fireballs and shit. I guess the dude is gone, and we should head to the other room. And we got some auto hacksaw. Cool. Oh, interesting. Okay, there we go. Oh, ho, 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 what the fuck is this? Unstable teleport plasmid. Nice. Uh, what the fuck was that? I have no clue, guys. I honestly no idea what just happened. Money though. Plenty of money. Yeah, money, money. Yeah, yeah. Wow, we are so drunk because of all the uh, alcohol we consumed. And that's a safe. Let's open the uh, damn safe using our hack. Into the next room we go. And wow, this water is electrocuted. Okay, that's very bad. So let's jump on the objects and there's a damn camera that's gonna watch us. Let's pick up the uh, diary and listen. Anyone in the plasmid business ultimately requires the use of human test subjects. It's our dirty little secret. And to be frank, Rapture doesn't really want to know, provided the end product is sound. The volunteers were scarce, even as the economy buckled. Well, that little infraction just earned you another slap on the nose, boy! Boy, eh? Oh my god, guys, look at these cocksuckers. They're dying by their own trap. Wow, how sad, man. Use the auto pack, and there we go, good. 
we hacked the uh, damn system. It was very hard to hack it while in the uh, water, you know. At least now the uh, cameras or the turret won't bother us as much and we can collect all the items we want. And we have the remote control or signal relay. Oh yeah, two more. Surprise, <laughs> Delta! <laughs> yeah, surprise, bitch. Yeah, like that. The telephone thingy over here. And uh, what's the significance of that? I have no clue, but I guess we're gonna get some kind of special ability or plasmid. Where the hell is the going? looks upon the world, saying, all of this is mine. Yeah. Why would you call a place a plasmid rocket or whatever the second name is, facade? I don't understand these names, but okay, uh, Fontaine uh, Futuristics. Let's go back up here and we're going to uh, end the episode. Thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. We're going to rescue the two remaining little sisters and kill their big daddies in the next episode. And we'll find two more of these signal relays and find out who exactly this Gil Alexander is. And we can take his fucking head off like we're going to do Dr. Sophia Lamb. So until next time, peace out, take care. Adios, amigos, au revoir, and sayonara.